do you have any other individuals in your family who are neurospicy? This is my, my, my very spicy nephew. This little dude right here is so, so intelligent. And I, I want to use this as an example to talk about how we can still do intuitive work regardless of what is happening in someone's mind and what happens inside of their body. So Simeon is going to talk to us just a little bit about one of his favorite things that he loves to do when it comes to energy work. Simeon is very, very tactile. He's very, very kinesthetic and very, very tangent. It's one of his most amazing abilities. So let's talk about some of the things that you collect. What's the very first thing that you found? Uh, Amethyst, and it helps you uh, get rid of negative uh stuff more positive with stuff good so he collects he literally goes out into the woods and he he goes hunting for different kinds of stones he's got a polisher that we got him for the holidays and he polishes and he and i love to go on and take a look at all these different stones and what they do together this is one that he just discovered where did you get this one i found it in the woods too it showed light and uh it helps you open up your third eye yeah where, where can you put it did that hurt? <laughs> How does it feel when you put it there on your third eye? It calms me down. Sometimes when I close my eyes, it almost makes me fall asleep. Yeah, it calms you down. Let's do one more. What's this one? Tiger's eye, and it um, increases bravery and, uh, yeah. It also boosts energy, which you don't need any more of. <laughs> My little neuro spicy nephew. Now, tell me, is it, it, can Tiger's Eye be dangerous? Yes, if he gets in your lungs, if you don't polish it right. Yeah, because it, it, Tiger's Eye can be quite dangerous inside of the body. You're learning so much, my dude. Bruh. <laughs> my, my little guy here who is working on his ability to touch, what does it feel like to you when you make physical contact with all of these stones? What does it feel like? It makes me feel good calmer and happier so when his body is in motion and you might be an individual who's tangent as well when the body is in motion and when the body is in a state of doing it it allows the body to feel more autonomous and it's so interesting with, with tangent individuals because it's it's almost as if the body is is guiding in that moment if you want to learn about tangent abilities, which also translate into healing abilities, if you work on them, you can click on the link in my bio, which will take you to a landing page of my new course. Bye, Baka. <laughs> Let's go learn about intuition.